everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Feroza and today I thought of doing a quick haul about what all stuff I got from Sephora India and also from Sephora US. So basically, I do call for stuff from the US Sephora a couple of times during the year because I have to keep my kit updated as a makeup artist. So I do bridals, I do workshops, I teach students one-on-one -on -one basis and I have to create and try out new products as a blogger as well so, so that I can review them and I know exactly how they are. Uh, more than anything else, there are clients who actually ask for certain products and you need to have it because you are an artist and you need to know what to use when and you have to keep up with all the products that are in the market and most of the time it is very difficult to find stuff in India, Sephora and there's a lot more stuff abroad I feel Sephora in India is still not like, still hasn't got a lot of things that we really need to get our hands on. So I do call for stuff once in a while from there. And luckily I had someone come down like a month ago. So I have had this stuff for a while now but I haven't used any of it. So let's get started and see what I got. So this is the bag right here. It's the Sephora bag and then I have put in a couple of things inside all in one bag. So I'm, let's just start off with the, the skincare products first. So the first thing that I have here is the soothing cleansing milk. I love cleansing milks. I think they really do make your skin softer and also help in taking off any makeup dirt and also they keep that moisture intact in your skin. So I really like using cleansing milk. And this is for face and eyes and it really works well. This is actually my second bottle and I am quite loving this product as of now. Basically what this does is takes off all your makeup. It doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy or you know oily or anything of that sort and also it does it does make your skin feel a lot more softer i can vouch for that because i have used this and this is my second one okay so the next product that i have here are these masks so these basically these uh, masks are really nice and i end up buying a few of these every time i go to the sephora store my most favorite one is the rose mask and this is supposed to give you ultra moisturizing and brightening that's what it says Basically, you're just supposed to put on this mask. It's like a fiber mask and you just put it on your face for like 15 minutes and press that cloth or whatever that is inside, that cloth. It's really made of like a cloth kind of a mask. I have reviewed this on my blog, so if you want to read a full review as to how it works, you can go to thebeautyinside.com and take a look. I'll mention it in the description box so you guys can go take a look and read the full review there. So basically these are like these cloth fiber masks and they're really nice, um, you know, you leave it on for like 15 minutes and then take it off and then whatever product is left on your face, you just massage it and it works really well, you don't even have to rinse your face, so it's just like moisturizing your face, which is great. So yeah, these are really nice, so they're not very expensive, they're only 430 rupees. I will mention all the details of all the pricing in rupees and the ones and dollars in the description so you guys can go take a look and these are really nice masks if you want to get your hands on something that's nice and hydrating try these they're very good so that was for skincare from india sephora now let's move on to products that i got from the us sephora now and these are going to be some uh, makeup products so the first one that i have here is called puff off by the by benefit and basically this is like a soothing eye gel which says it's supposed to take away all your puffiness and also soothe the fine line through the under the eyes and stuff. So I'm going to take form and it has a little iron tip kind of a thing right here so you press the gel apparently that's how it's, I don't know how it's supposed to be used I haven't used it yet there are some instructions written in that box right here so the instructions are there in this box, I'm going to read it and use it but I have heard some good reviews about this so I wanted to try this on and basically you just like get the product out and then you know dot around the under eyes or wherever you have puffiness and then just press the area with this before you apply makeup. I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to be work, I will check it out. This looks like a good product and I can't wait to try it. Okay, so the second thing I have here is the Becca shimmering skin perfecter highlighter if this is in the liquid form and the one that i got here is in, i think it's opal pearls and the one that i have here is in opal and it looks really nice i'm going to swatch it for you guys and show it to you all this is not the actual size this is a travel size so i wanted to try out opal so i got this one and becca is supposed to be the best in highlighters and i have to get my hands on these so i got this one and haven't used it yet 
I probably will use it in one of my tutorials so you guys can actually see what it looks like. Now I have ta the Naked Smoky palette. I've been wanting this for a while and finally I have got my hands on it. So let me show it to you guys how it looks from inside. So I love smoky eyes myself. This smoky palette basically has like 12 shades and yeah, it looks really nice. I haven't tried it out. It comes with a brush. It comes with a dual brush. So one side you have the blending brush and then the other side is a pencil brush. So pretty cool. Can't wait to try this. So there will be a lot of um, tutorials coming up with this one. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. And as always, these are very pigmented. Also, I love the packaging. I think it's pretty cool. Very different from the others. The others are more like in, uh, this is more like plastic. The other ones are not in plastic and it has that magnet thing happening and this does have the magnet happening so it shuts very easily. And again it has a mirror so pretty cool. I'm going to try this one as well. So the next thing I got are these uh, oil blotting papers and these are pretty cool. I mean they're like you know you blot away any oil or anything they come up they come with like these sheets. So basically you can just pull one out and then you know, just dab in the areas where you feel like your skin is getting oily. So it's a good product to like just keep your face matte and not make you look all shiny, especially in this weather. It's you know you need something like this. So yeah, I just got some one of these. I just want to try it out, and I think they work really well. They do like take away the shine and everything. So and also keep your makeup intact all day because it's so hot outside and we will get oily in no time because of the humidity. So these are great, like these are called oil blotting papers, very handy, just put it in your bag and get out and uh, yeah, really cool. The product that I have here is from Urban Decay, it's their Contraband Eyeshadow Palette and I don't know why I picked it up but I really liked it online so I just like got it. And it comes in like these beautiful six shades, so it's got like purples happening, a lavender color, then there's some browns. And there's a green, and then I have this Urban Decay 24 by 7 Glide on Eye Pencil that comes with that as well. So, again, I love Urban Decay uh, eyeshadows, and they're very pigmented and they really work. They're really easy to blend in, and they, are, they last a long time. So, I thought I'll get my hands on one of these. So, guys, that was all for my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. I upload once a week, and now I'm going to start uploading twice a week. And yeah, you will get an alert every time I upload a video. So please subscribe, it will mean a lot to me. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I will leave the details in the description box. And yeah, if you guys have any requests or ideas that I could do videos on, please let me know, leave a comment below, and I shall see you next time. So until then, be good and keep the good vibes alive. Bye!